What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. We took a quick impromptu trip to my second home away from home, world famous KP Fabertunis. Oh, there he's gonna go for riding that truck and work on it. But he had a little bit of time to sneak me on the rollers with the Malibu. So I figured it'd be good content to bring you guys because we have been in Boring Town for a while. We're not trying to set any records or do anything. We were just doing shakedown, and I gotta line up my fuel table because um, we changed some things on the car and I want to make sure it is all dialed in and then tomorrow if the car is doing decent I want to keep an eye on the oil pressure we got the cage certified so we're going to go start our license passes um, if we can and I figure worst case even if I just get the slow ones out of the way if I'm still sketchy about like the oil pressure at least we can get those out of the way and then if we have to tear it down do bearings or whatever if we got to do some dumb stuff I'll still be able to make passes if we get this thing to LS Fest so uh, the boys are strapping it down. I'm going to cross my T's, dot my I's. If there's anything interesting, I'll bring you back. If not, we'll just show you this thing on the rollers and we'll make some pools. And then I'm going to spend some time picking KP's brain on how he actually sets up a fuel table properly. Because uh, between Happel and KP, they have been magic and they've helped me so much. And I feel like I've learned a bunch. But it's way better than stumbling through it to just watch a pro do it. And I think after today, I'm going to feel pretty good about being able to actually set up a fuel table uh, by myself. So, and then also, quick pro tip, if you have a quick car, don't street fuel it. Go find a roller and a dyno. That's the other problem I have with this too. If I roll into this car, we go 100 very fast, and that's dumb on the street. You're going to kill yourself, kill somebody, especially if you're not paying attention and looking at a laptop. Don't be an idiot. If you're making power, find some rollers, tune it there. Well, it's quiet. Everybody's off doing stuff. I'm getting this guy ready. A uh, quick tip when you're doing these things, especially with messing with fuel, you want to go through your whole tune and make sure everything is on point. You want to make sure your TPS, uh, your TPS auto set or whatever is done properly and it's actually opening the TPS 100%. You want to get it up to temp and you want to make sure your IAC is where it's supposed to be. And then um, mainly, well, most importantly, you need to make sure that your base fuel pressure on what your rails are seeing is the same as what's in the tune, right? So if all those things are off, when you do your fuel map, everything's gonna be off, right? So you wanna start out uh, with the best shot of doing a good job. And with that said, my stuff is a little off. So I'm gonna triple check all that. Uh, we're putting in race mode, taking the air filter off. And then um, I'll mess with some of the other stuff. We'll make sure it's all lined out. So when he tickles the keys, um, hopefully it makes his life a little easier and we can get out of here. Ooh, look at that little guy. Look at, you guys wanna say hi? Hello, little turbo. Yeah, let me check it so yeah we just rolled into it just to get things started we're on the bottom one that that was some guy that was getting froggy so uh 613 the fuel is looking good we did a o2 change yesterday courtesy of kp so life is good we'll uh give it a little more juice but yeah that's that's a hell of a start for a couple pounds of boost
doubled the dome pressure from three pounds to six, which netted us eight uh, pounds. So we picked up not quite a hundred, it's 679.97. So from 613 to 697. So we're doing pretty good per pound of boost, considering that was only three more PSI. Um, we'll probably play with it a bit more. I mean, we're still pretty conservative. Um, and I don't, I don't know if that's going to get me to the 639 I need tomorrow. So we'll, we'll turn it up a little bit more. The oil, if you're wondering, is looking decent. Although I do want to see it now because we turned the accumulator on the first one. I did not. Um, I changed oil, went down in weight. So now we're kind of at like the, the ratio of 10 pounds per thousand, which I'm okay with. That makes me feel much better. Um, so that's about where it's living right now. So everything so far so good. We'll turn it up a little bit. And like I said, we just got to find a, a number where we don't break the stock transmission and the, and the budget converter. And we can hopefully foot break uh, 639 if the opportunity presents itself. So we're happy, man. We'll bring it back for another pull. All right, here we go. a wrap for this afternoon uh, KP has another customer on his way and then he's outside working on something right now but as far as the car is concerned it did phenomenal it's doing better than I expected it to do especially with uh, low boost um, this thing we're gonna have a race car sooner or later we got to get the transmission stuff sorted out but till then I still need a license so transmissions don't matter I think this thing hopefully will go we got to go 640 in the eighth off a foot brake we'll see how it goes but at least i can get my slow passes and worst case when we're at ls fest i should be able to uh let her eat a little bit and then we can pour boost on top and make sure we can get uh somewhere in the nines we're not going to go crazy with it until we get better parts on board but until then we're going to enjoy it because that's what it's all about until next time you guys know what to do i'm out